I started applying for graduate school in October during my year four. I applied to nine universities and got several offers. Finally, I chose a Master of Science in Computational Biology and Quantitative Genetics at Harvard. And I would like to thank two professors for their inspiration and encouragement. Since my year two, I have been a student helper working in the lab of Block Zhao, who introduced me to the field of computational biology and recommended it for my PG study. Computational biology, or bioinformatics, is a science of using biological data to develop algorithms among various biological systems. It has a very influential application nowadays. A Harvard alumna, Professor Larry Chow, spent time to review my CV and encouraged me to pursue PG study at the top U.S. university afterwards. His personal encouragement meant a lot to me, and his advice on the application essay was equally helpful. Besides feeling very happy about my offer, I experienced a big lesson about life. I don't need to be a genius to achieve my dream. Instead, it's the sense of direction and daily effort that count. For example, I got a B plus in my math course in ABB study, but I realized program internships are important for my field study in bioinformatics. So I tried very hard to learn SAS and the programming language of Python respectively. I finally worked as a program intern for the Chinese Academy of Medical Sciences and as analyst for Microstat Shanghai, a clinical research organization during my year three summer the sense of direction and daily effort that count. My name is Ji Wei. I will pursue my studies in Master of Engineering, Biomedical Engineering at Duke University. I made up my mind to have further study in the U.S. in my second semester in year three during my exchange in Georgia Institute of Technology. It's an eye-opening experience I met many students from different universities all over the world. Sometimes I thought the university life of students in Hong Kong was not wide-reaching enough in general. In applying for top university in the U.S., we compete globally. Extracurricular activities are very important. I'm thankful that PolyU and ABCT in particular have provided a lot of opportunities for us. Internship, exchange, service learning, career education, etc. These activities not only help us to build up CV, but also help us to find out what we truly like. I strongly recommend my fellow students to cherish the many opportunities around us, no matter whether we want to pursue postgraduate study or not. I will pursue my PG study at Columbia University, studying the Master of Public Health in Biostatistics. I feel so grateful for being admitted to such a prestigious university. Looking back, it took quite an effort to apply for the PG study. But effort will pay off. The most challenging part of my preparation was the GRE, which needed half a year to prepare. The ideal time to start is year three, semester one. The most difficult part is remembering the 3,000 word vocabulary. Some words are difficult and rarely used. Also, the verbal part may be the most difficult part for Hong Kong and Chinese students. It may not be easy for people to understand the sentence structure. My study tools include the official guide, exercise books, and some online exercise websites. My humble advice is to motivate yourself with progress. In my case, when I saw myself doing better and better, I became more motivated to keep spending time on my studies in the midst of my busy semester life.